Hey, babe. I've been calling you all day. Where have you been? Where did you keep your phone? Baby, calm down, okay? I was out with the guys. Keep that bullshit to yourself. For that long? I mean, you told me that you were not going to waste so much time. You knew I was going out with the guys and you kept calling and calling like you didn't know I was going to be out. And that's why you didn't take my calls? Amira, please, just stop, okay? I just finished and I still came all the way here to see you and it, it's not enough. You don't know if I ran out of airtime or something and you're already picking a fight. So why didn't you just say that from the start? Amira. Okay, fine. You went out with your friends, right? Okay, so call one of them. Let me talk to them. Excuse me? You heard me. I said call him and give me the phone. Alex. Yeah, I have one. Don't reach out. You guys say you carry one of my bags to the house and then we check your bag. Yeah, I don't reach out. Thanks for coming out, man. Babe. What did I do wrong now? What did I do? All I asked was just for him to be clear that he wasn't doing anything wrong. That's all now. What do you want? Babe, please, can I come in? Please. Make it quick. I'm preparing for work. Babe, I've been trying to call you since last night. I even called you this morning several times and you've refused to pick. I know that you're still upset, but I'm really, really sorry. Look, I don't know when you truly accept the fact that I choose you and that means that I love you. You keep doubting my every move and it's giving me a headache. You ruined my mood last night. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I really am. Please. Come here, Joe. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let's go to work. I'm running late. As you can see, I'm already dressed. Do you have any food? I don't understand. You didn't eat from your house? No, I'm hungry. Do you, do you have anything? No. Hi there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. I know. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Mm hmm. Oof, okay. Just cover for me, I'll be there. All right. All right, dear. Bye. <laughs> okay, shall we? Oh, it's so funny. You say? And who was that? She's my colleague at work. So because she's your colleague at work, that's why she's your dear? Amira, you've started again, Abby. What's wrong with calling her dear? Collins, I would not call a random guy on the road dear. That's what I'm saying. Amira! Come on! So because I called her dear, that means we're going to start a relationship? I do not like it. Okay? I do not like it. That's what I'm saying. And it's not that deep. Fine. 
I won't call her dear again. In fact, I won't call anybody dear again. Can we go to work, dear? Yes. Where are you going? Vera, what is it again? Can you imagine? I've been texting this guy all day and he has not responded once. Amira, it's a work day. He's probably busy. Chill out. Busy? Busy doing what? I can clearly see that he's online. So who is he chatting with if he's not chatting with me? Babes, I've been telling you, you need to calm down. Stop overthinking things. This guy is crazily in love with you and we all see it. But at this rate, you might end up chasing him with... <sighs> Babe, just relax. Vera, you of all people know the amount of relationships I've been in. And how most of them scattered. Amira, most of your relationships scattered because of you. Mm -hmm. You suspect and suspect until it becomes choking for them to stay. Come on. Vera, why am I always the bad guy in your stories? Why? These guys cheated on me. You seem to forget that, right? No, no, I'm not forgetting that. Look, I know that there were some of them who were natural flats that cheated on you. But girl, they are outnumbered by the ones you chased away with your nasty attitude. Relax, like, give this guy a break. Anyways, like I said, I said he's online. What's the hard work in there if he cannot respond to the person he claims to love so much, eh? Calm down now, he'll respond to you. Sometimes you just need to give them space, okay? If I had a man that loves me the way your man loves you, I would not even complain. Baby, you're back. You okay? I've been texting you all day, Collins. And to respond to me now is war, right? I mean, now you're here, pretending like nothing happened. Baby, if you can just breathe for a minute, you'll perceive the aroma coming from the kitchen, and then you realize that I left work early to come home and cook for you, to surprise you. Can you at least take a minute to acknowledge that first? And who said I wasn't going to? All I'm trying to say is that I've been trying to communicate with you for hours and you've been ignoring me. <sighs> I was at work, Amira. Work. Can, can you just stop doing this? I'm trying my best here. Must everything be fight with you? Really? Also now, because you're at work with your dear. I mean, is she even prettier than I am or funnier? Which one is it? Tell me. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Your dear. Remember her? Oh, so now, because work is over, you're suddenly here, playing boyfriend duties, right? As by it's my turn. Amira, I work in customer care. I can be on my phone all day and still be working. You should know this by now. Why are you doing this? You're just making everything difficult. Please. And all I'm trying to say, Collins, is that if you take out a few minutes out of your day to communicate with me, instead of ignoring me, we will not be having this issue and it will not kill you. Just What's, what's going on? I came to spend some time with you. Let's just... Uh... <laughs> Let's just what? Let's just what? Sleep together. 
Also, that's all I am to you. Wait. Someone to, to, to have fun with. What are you talking about? You're my girlfriend. You think if I wanted to spend time with someone else, I'll, I'll bother myself coming here? What's the name of the girl earlier? What? What girl? <sighs> Dear, that's one. Sarah? <laughs> Sarah is my co-worker and why are you bringing up her name in the middle of night? Because I don't like her, okay? I don't. <sighs> You know what? I think you should just delete her number. What? You heard me. I said delete her number. I don't like the vibe between the both of you. De what vibe are you talking about? Sarah is my colleague. I can't just do something like that. Okay, fine. If you're not going to delete her number, let me, let me say the chance between the both of you. So I know that there's nothing going on. Show me. Are you being serious? I still don't like her, but I guess it's fine. Babe. Babe. Just eat your food, please. I can't, not when you're playing with your food like that. What do you want me to do? Pretend like I'm happy with the way things are currently going? Why can't we just have a conversation like a normal couple, Collins? Why must everything result Fight. to- Fight! That's what you know how to do best. Fight, quarrel, that's your department. What do I have to do to you to, to prove that I love you? You're always doubting my every move. Why? Collins. Amira, I love you. And I'll never do anything to hurt you. Why can't you just accept this? I'm sorry. It's, it's just... I was just really jealous and worried that you might be out there having fun with some other girl and ignoring me. That is ridiculous. I've never given you any reason to think that. Amira... I am begging you to please stop. Just stop. Fine, I will. It's just that I love you so much and, and I don't want to wake up one morning and then you're, you're, you're gone. You've left me. <sighs> Babe. Listen. I love you. I love you so much and I will never do that to you. Okay? But I need you to trust me. I need you to believe me. I'm sorry, baby. I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. So can you eat your food now? Yeah. How do I know that you're not going to pull this stunt again? Come on, babe. Just eat your food. I'm sorry, okay?
Hallo. What? Really? Oh, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, sleepy head. <laughs> Morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you were knocking. I was sleeping. It's okay. So, no work today? You know, I work for myself. So, I can go to work anytime. Right. But I cannot say the same for you. No work this morning. Well, it's my off day. So, I decided to come and spend time with my baby girl. <laughs> You know, I miss spending time with you. So, I brought you this. I don't want you to bother about making breakfast for yourself. Oh, baby. You know the way to my heart. Good food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been thinking. Mm -hmm. Since it's my off day, why don't you go upstairs, freshen up, and come over to mine. Let's have some fun together. You have to bribe me. Really? Uh-huh. And how should I bribe you? <laughs> Is this appropriate? Maybe mm. one more. One more? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me go get this ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. In the name of beauty is this. Girl, you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. You know, I envy the way this guy loves you. It's so pure and sweet. Mm -hmm. You're so lucky. <laughs> you think? I know. The way you exaggerate about my relationship with this guy. That's how you said the same thing about my past relationship. Until they showed me she gave. Not making that same mistake twice. Amira, you don't seem to see what you have. And I don't want you to have to lose it before you learn your lesson. We both know that you're a hands full. Your head knows the correct sometimes. But this guy still loves you regardless. If you ask me, he's actually the best guy you've ever dated in your entire life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that it's when you start trusting all these men, they start moving mad. <laughs> <laughs> so Vera, if you like, hype this guy from now. Till next day. Do I love him? Of course I do. But do I trust him? Hell no. I've seen my first shares of Shege in this life and I'm not making that mistake again. Okay. You don't value what you have until, the, until, until you lose it. That's on my own. Hope you know you're dropping me off with your finer self. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. I hope you heard what I said. About not knowing what you have until you lose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. And I don't have anything to say about it. Amara, what do you mean you don't have anything to say about it? Look, I understand why you're this way. But I want you to know that not everyone can be your dad. My dad is a man. And all men are the same. I mean, if after the way he treated my mom with so much care and love, he still went ahead to do what he did. I can't trust anyone, and that's just the honest truth. All I'm saying is, lay your demons down and see it. Look, we're all humans. You can't continue to be toxic to him and expect him to stay forever. Vera, you are supposed to be my best friend. Why am I beginning to feel like Lizzie understands and supports me better than you do? Babe, I'm your best friend and that's why I want the best for you. Okay? Mm? I'm your best friend, that's why I want the best for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Well, let's go. Oh yeah, now. Babe? Ben, 
Baby. Babe, you're the best woman I've ever met. The only one my heart beats for. I've had a long thought about this. I know that we fight a lot. But there's no one I'd rather spend forever with. Baby. Will you please marry me? I can't. I'm sorry, babe, but this, this is clearly a mistake, okay? I don't think I'm ready for marriage now. I can't do this, please. What? Amira! What do you mean you said no? I'm just not ready, okay? Amira, when will you ever be ready? What is wrong with you? For crying out loud, this guy is head over heels in love with you. And with the way you're intentional and protective about him, it means you love him too. So why did you say no? Eh, I think you should have asked him for more time, but since he said no, it's okay. That's the advice you're supposed to be giving to your friend, Abby. Hmm? You guys are funny. It's like you think there are so many men out there waiting for you people. You don't know that eligible bachelors are scarce, Abby. Okay, no problem. Ah, uh ah. -uh. What do you want me to say now? It's obvious she has made up her mind. And besides, she's a fine girl, so if she says no, other guys will rush her. Girl. Beautiful girl. You guys, I just think that it's just too soon. I need time to figure this, this guy inside out. That's, I don't know. I mean, like two years of dating, and you're trying to tell me that you don't know this guy inside out? I put it to you that you know him inside, under, outside, inside, inside. You know him everywhere. He has shown you all his true colors. What exactly do you want him to show you again? Come on now. Let's be realistic. It's just too nice. That's it. The problem is it's, it's too nice. I can't even seem to tell if it's a camouflage or just a facade. I don't know what it is. Something. <laughs> Wait, oh. Were you expecting him not to be nice? Please let me ask how. You guys need to see the way my father was really, really nice. If you know how nice and caring this man was while he was going around cheating. One morning he woke up one day and decided that we were weapon fashioned against him and that his side chick was suddenly the angel. Hey, God, oh. I mean, I already made one mistake trusting my dad. I'm not about to go ahead and trust another guy again. Okay, Amira, I, I understand your feeling, but I have just one question to ask you. Now that you have said no to his engagement, what exactly do you want him to do? Hmm? I hope you will not complain if he leaves you. Because I see no reason why you should be dating somebody when you're not ready to marry them. You said I needed time. That's it. Just time. All right then. Take all the time in the world that you need. Okay? Yeah, if she says she needs time, then she needs time. I mean, there's no need rushing her. No rush, yo. When you clock 40, both of you, <laughs> and you don't see man to marry you, by then I'd have been in my husband's house with like 10 children. Come uh -uh. on, your eyes were clear. Uh -uh. Mm. I really don't understand. I mean, I thought this girl was all over you. I mean, what happened? I thought so too. I love this girl. I don't understand what she's doing anymore. Then maybe you should talk to her. 
Mm. The last time I checked, you guys have been fighting lately. Talk to her and see what. She's made up her mind. No. If she said no, there is a reason why she said so. So instead of sitting down here like a lost puppy, why don't you just call her or talk to her? Find a way to reach her. You never know what you might find. I've been calling her, but she's not picking up. She ran out of here and she's been mute. Then maybe she should go over to hers. I mean, you never know what you find when you get there. Talk to her face to face. What do you think? And if she still says no? Then you know you've tried. You've given it a shot and it's worth a try. Test him. Excuse me? Yeah, like, what if we test him? You know, for me to trust him, I have to put him to a test. So, someone will try to get him to fall for her and then see if he'll attempt to sleep with her. Amira, are you okay? Are you out of your mind? Don't you know that there are things that you don't joke with and this is one of them? Do you want to test your boyfriend? Hey, so? Okay, what, what, what's so hard in that? You both trust him, right? And you think he's the right one for me. So what's with all this scare? Babes, seriously, if you ask me, I think you should work on getting your man back and stop displaying this level of foolishness. I thought you were on my side, Lizzie. Me? I just support anything that makes you happy. He said no one has ever put their partner on test and anything good comes out from it. Amira, leave problem alone, no. Please! Mm. See, both of you don't even trust that you won't fall for it. Whatever we think doesn't matter. Okay? What matters is how he has been to you. And has he been good? Yes. Has he ever given you a reason to doubt his loyalty? No. You need to keep your father's stuff aside and concentrate on yourself. Hey, that was mean. It's actually uncalled for. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I crossed the line. Look, I just, I need you to fix this. Some people are very irreplaceable. Don't say I didn't want you. What do you think, Lizzie? Hmm? Me? Not me, oh. Do whatever works for you. Lizzie, are you really not bothered about this? What? About Collins and Amira. You don't seem bothered at all. I already did all I should. Give her advice as a friend. Lizzie, I do not like the way you advise her. It's almost as if you don't care, like you're just going with the flow. Says who? You and I know how Amira is. Besides, she does what she likes and this whole thing between her parents has really eaten deep into her. I don't want to have issues with her. Look, I know she has issues, but don't we all? Come on. See, I had advised and advised her over her previous relationship. That guy really did love her, but what did she do? She destroyed all of that with her own will. Me, I don't want to get into her bad book, though. But you know that's not how good friends should be, right? Well, that's how I choose to behave.
Are you really going to pretend like I didn't ask you to marry me and you just turned me down? Just calm down, please. Calm down? I need answers. If you don't have the intention of marrying me, then why are we dating? I'm confused. I'm scared, okay? I'm scared that I'm not ready. So what? You don't trust me? You think I'm going to hurt you? Is that what this is about? I never said that. I've been transparent. I don't lock my phone. I tell you every damn detail because I understand your past and it's still not enough. I never said that, okay? And I never will. All I'm saying is that I need some time to get ready. That's all, please. So what? This is not an outright no? This is not a no, I will not marry you? No, it's a no of I have demons I need to work on before marriage, kind of no. Okay? Once I've done proper work on myself, then we can have this conversation again. Please. I love you. I love you too. Okay? You know, you scared me there for a second. I thought you wanted to dump me. And I thought you wouldn't care. What? I care about you and you know that. Anyways, just eat your food, okay? And if you need any more, I can get some for you. Hmm? You're joking with me. <sighs> Babes, how far now? Eh? Where's my money? I've been calling you since. Amira, calm down now. Is it because of one millionaire you've been calling me like I stole your kidney since dawn? How about now? Calm down. <laughs> Don't. Don't do this, Vera. Don't. I mean, this money is long overdue. It's been months. And every day you're always telling me tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yo, tomorrow not a rich. I beg, send me my money. Why are you shouting like you're the first person to be owed? I said I'll give you your money. I'll give you rest. I should rest. Did you just say I should rest? Okay, if the money is too small, then why can't you give it to me? Vera, I need this money now. I need this money. I need this money to stock up my shop. Please. I beg, have a nice day, Amira. I'm not in the mood at all. I'm not in a good mood. Vera. Did this girl just end the call on me? Wait, she must be joking. Oh. Hi, babe. Okay, I'm done. I'll, I'll be I'll be down too. Right, okay, bye bye. <sighs> Baby, <sighs> calm down. She said she'll return the money and she will. When? When will she return the money? And the worst part is that she ended the call on me like I'm the stupid one for lending her the money. Baby, this girl is your best friend. You should take it easy on her. I suggest you have a face-to-face -face conversation with her. You shouldn't let this come between you guys. How am I supposed to have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone that's clearly avoiding me? How? My love. You know, I don't like things stressing you, right? Hmm? So I'll help you, okay? Like you'd give me the money. <laughs> no, you shouldn't do that. I'll talk to her for you. She'll return the money and you'll maintain your friendship. You think that's going to work? We can only try. 
Okay. <laughs> Smile. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good? Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, just send me her number. I'll talk to her. Send you a number. What? You still don't trust me? Fine. You don't have to send the number. Okay, fine. I'll just... I don't know why you're insisting on water, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, go. you very much. You're welcome. Okay. I'm sure it's okay to be doing this here. It's fine. She consented to it. I don't see a problem besides, it's just an innocent meeting. Right. Um, Collins, I know why you called me here. But truthfully, I do not have the money to pay her back right now. Wow. Look, Collins, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. It's just that I'm having issues with my bank right now. Someone put a lien on my account and I've been struggling to lift it. I'm sorry about that, but you should have just told her. Yeah, it's not your fault. You don't have to be sorry. The thing is, Amira does not joke with her money. I didn't know how to tell her that I don't have the money to pay her back now. Besides, she's under so much pressure and I don't want to add to her problems. You know what? I guess I'll have to figure it out somehow. Maybe get a loan from someone else to pay her off ASAP. No, no, no. Just talk to her. She's upset because of how you handled it. But I'm sure she'll listen if you handle it properly. Right. Okay. I guess I'll do that then. Thank you for your time. I'll have to take my leave now. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, Collins? Yeah? You are a very nice guy. I just thought you should know that. Thank you. And I hope you resolve the issues with your bank. I hope so too. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I have a great day. Yeah, let me just uh, walk you to the door. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Out of your mind? This is what your brain could conceive in a situation like this? Wait, this is the reason you said you wanted to see me? Huh? I mean, Vera, what's wrong in what I said? You owe me money, right? So I'm bringing a suggestion that would work for the both of us. A suggestion we all agreed to toss into the bin. I owe you money, I know. But that's not enough reason for you to weave me into your web. Into this shitty web. Vera, come on, you know you're my best friend. Can't you just do this one for me? Do you know what you're asking me to do? Do you? Yes. I'm saying you should try and seduce Collins and see if he will take the bait. And if he does, then I prove to you and Lizzie that I was right. If not, I go ahead and, and, and marry him. Amira! Can you hear yourself talk? I mean, either which way, is, it's a win for everybody. Amira, this is a very dangerous game and I do not like it. I don't. Vera, you are always trying to make me see the good in these men. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to see the good in Collins. If this works out fine, then I go ahead and marry him. And... I get to keep the money? Of course. All of it. 100. Babe, this, this, this is too much. This... I'm sure you know this is very difficult for me to do, but I'll have to think about it. Thank you. 
You better wipe that smile off your face before I change my mind. Sorry now. Anyways, I have to get going. If I want to get home early. Hmm. I even have to go to her. I'm going to Collins' place tonight. Ah, ah. What's happening in Collins' place tonight? Mind What's happening? <laughs> you want to go and collect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Enjoy girl. yourself, baby. Go. Don't get pregnant so while at it. Good night, darling. Good night, baby. Mwah. Come and lock your door, madam. Alright. Hey. Hi there. Um, Collins, where are you? Did it go well with her? Are you guys cool now? Oh yes, it went well and we are good now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I told you, you just needed to explain properly. Yeah, she's actually very nice. And thank you for checking up on me. I mean it. You're welcome. Thanks for listening to me. Yeah. And hey, um, do you want to do something fun tomorrow? Off the book. Um. It's, it's just a little form of appreciation, nothing else. Okay, fine. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Look, it really doesn't matter, okay? What matters is our team won, and I'm happy. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you so much, Susie. I'll see you at work tomorrow. Oh, and please, don't forget to send me that report. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye. Who is Susie? Babe, what are you doing here? I thought you came down to cook. Cook? When did that one start? Babe, I told you upstairs that I was hungry and you said, okay. So you came downstairs to, what, watch TV and press your phone and do nothing? Collins, you said you were hungry and I said okay, as far we were still discussing. I never agreed to cook now. <sighs> Besides, I've never cooked for you, so why should I start cooking now? Especially when you were talking to that. <sighs> you know what? Please, just leave me alone. Amira, what is going on with you? You saw me working upstairs. Are you telling me that you can't prepare something for me to eat? <sighs> and can't you see that I'm not so busy doing something? Why must men think that they have to turn women into slaves before they know that they love them right back? And you're even there flirting with... What's that name again? Susan? I wasn't flirting. Okay. It was a work call. Work. At 9 p.m., yeah? Okay. If you're hungry, go and look for something to eat or you go to bed. But I come to your house. I cook for you. I buy you meals. Does that make me a slave? Wait. Collins, we're not counting favors now. Hmm? Is that what it is? Come and cook for you when you are there smiling with Susan. I've seen your slave. Babe. Babe. Babe, please stand up. We need to talk. Please.
What is it? I don't like this energy. We're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be enjoying each other's company, not fight each other at every given opportunity. Let me get this right, Collins. So you woke me up in the middle of the night to tell me that I am problematic and dramatic. Collins, did you lecture yourself when you were being jovial with the women at your workplace? What? Did you? Babe, that's in the past. Why you keep bringing it up? What is it, Collins? Because I need to sleep. Babe. I'm trying to understand you here. I know the kind of past you had, which is why I'm trying my best. But I am not your father. Stop it. He cheated on your mom and abandoned you both. I, I will never do that to you. Okay? Look, Collins, I never said you were him, okay? So what is really the problem? You don't have to say it before I get it. I'm not that kind of man. Babe, I will never leave you unless you keep pushing me away with this, this attitude of yours. Kylie, this was a mistake coming here. I'm going downstairs to sleep. What? Are you being serious? Can't I have a conversation with you as my girlfriend? Amira! Is she? talking to you. Can you just please let me be? Can you let me be? I've already heard all that you have to say. Can you just listen to me and try to understand me? Oh, Colin, so this is because I said I wasn't going to cook for you. Then suddenly you went and arranged a lecture for me, right? Baby, I love you, but I need you to be kind to me, okay? And I've been wicked and mean to you. Can you listen to me? You don't cook for me when I'm tired. You don't help me with anything around the house. It's, it's always me jumping to make sure you're comfortable. I'm a human being too now. Collins, I can't submit to any man because I've seen firsthand what doing that does to women, okay? I'm your girlfriend, not your slave. So if you need help around the house with things, I suggest you go and get a maid. Everyone is not like your father. Stop comparing me to him. How dare you? How dare you, Collins? Yes, go. Go to bed and go and call her. Since that's the person you like talking to now. Rubbish. You're up. Please, I'll send the laundry guy to come pick up my clothes. Give them to him when he arrives. How are you fighting, babe? I'm late for work and I don't have time for this. Like I said, give him the clothes when he arrives. But if you can't do it, just tell me. I'll go to the laundry room, pack them myself and give it to him. I don't want anyone calling herself a slave in my house. <laughs> I can't. I have to go to work too. Um, I don't have that time, so please, you're going to have to do it yourself. I just came down to eat these snacks and be out. Fine. Drop my keys where I can find them. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Like I said, drop my keys where I can find them. I love you.
I said what I said. I mean, I'm not about to submit to any man. My mom was an example of a perfectly submitted woman. Where did that get her? She slaved herself away from my dad. That my stupid father. Please, I beg, I beg, I beg. Amira, do you realize that you don't bring anything to the table? You don't cook for him, you don't clean for him, nothing. Meanwhile, when you were sick, he ran over here, spent days cooking, cleaning, and looking after you. Don't you understand how absurd this sounds? <sighs> Who forced him now? Nobody forced him. It was his choice. Same way, it was her choice not to submit to any man. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say about you. You never for once give reasonable advice. Why? I don't understand. People will be talking right, you'll be talking left, left, left. So because I understand her, my advice is not reasonable. He doesn't mind though. Why are we breaking sweat over this? So you think he doesn't mind because he doesn't complain? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I know you're joking. You like to crack jokes a lot. Mm. Meanwhile, I thought about what you said and I've decided to do it. Really? Mm -hmm. So I spoke to him earlier and asked him to hang out with me today as a form of appreciation for settling our differences. And guess who has a place to be tonight? Moi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you didn't mention he was doing anything later today. <laughs> what were you expecting? That he'll come to you and say, Baby, I have a date with another woman. So that you will kill him. Please, oh, relax. Besides, it's just a friendly date. Nothing serious. After all, that's what you wanted, right? Fine. Good. So please, let's, let's, let's get our facts straight. I'll do this for one month only. Deal on it, dear. Agreed, Jo. Please come, 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 come and witness this thing. Let's get it. <laughs> See, I, I'm serious. Oh my God. This looks so yummy. You shouldn't have done this. I would have done it myself. You would? Of course I would. Wait, you don't believe me? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. This is absolutely delish. Wow. <laughs> Amira is lucky, you know. She gets to taste meals like this all the time. <laughs> Yeah, mm. I learned a lot to try and impress her, but um... <laughs> but what? No, 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 it's nothing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Collins, I know a troubled person when I see one. Besides, we're not friends, so you can tell me anything. Okay. It's nothing serious, actually. It's just that I can't remember the last time I sat with a female like this and just have a healthy conversation, vibe, and be happy with no fear of being asked weird questions. But you love Amira. Aren't you happy with her? Yes, I love her and I intend to marry her. But the fight can be exhausting. Then stick to the plan. Marry her. If you love her like you say, I'm sure both of you can work things out. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So, is there anything you want me to help you with? Or anything at all that you need help with? Cooking, laundry, anything at all. I've got some time on my hands. Really? Mm-hmm. What? Why are you acting surprised? Every time I say something, you act so surprised. 
Because I am surprised. Oh, you don't think I can cook? <laughs> or you don't think I can do laundry? Because of my nails? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but really, you can cook. This is unarguably one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Okay, stop exaggerating. Mm, <laughs> now you can cook. <clears throat> Jeez. Uh, are you okay? Your kitchen is like an oven. I told you. I warned you, actually. Sorry, the, uh, the AC is on. Can we increase it, please? <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's fine. I did it from my heart. And I stocked your fridge with food in mm -hmm. appreciation for stocking my belly with food earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. Oh, it's not a big deal. Amira would have easily cooked for you. Right. Amira doesn't believe in helping men that she's not married to. <laughs> she actually mentioned, but I thought she was joking. <laughs> No, Mira doesn't play like that. I know, right? <laughs> um, you want to get that? It's okay. I'll, I'll call back later. But hey, thank you so much for it's fine. helping me out. It's fine. Yeah. I have to be on my way now. It's mm -hmm. getting late already. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was thinking maybe I could pick you up from work tomorrow. Uh, we could hang, grab a drink or two. You know. I'll think about it. All right. All right, Mr. Collins. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right. You want to see me off? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Uh. Can you imagine? Hey, do you know this rubbish? Vera. Babes. Where are you going to? Wait. Don't tell me you're trying to drive over there to fight him. Vera, I've been calling him since and he's not picking. Amira, I told you he was with me. What were you thinking? That we were having sex? Vera! I mean, because you look all battle ready. Girl, you need to chill out, oh. Ugh. So tell me, what happened? Did he make any attempt? No, no, he didn't. He was just being nice. You and I know he's a very nice guy. That's all. Tavaria, you're telling me now that he saw a beautiful lady like you and he did not fall. Oh, please, Amira. We still have about a month to find that out. Besides, I only came here to just give you a heads up on how it went. I have to get going. It's getting late. Right. Goodbye. See, stop worrying, you know, before you kill yourself of worry. I called you earlier. Who? Cool. I'll drop by in the morning to pick up your clothes for the laundry guy. You can pick them up when it's ready. Hold on, is, is something wrong? All the cleaning and help I did for other guys, where did it land me? Eh? 
beg, I beg, I beg. Everybody should just get out. Don't stress me. Rubbish. Yes, I did. Thank you very much, mister. I had no idea if you were sleeping, so I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> I see. Thank you. And thank you for the meal. It was delicious. Plus, I was going to ask, I hope you've called Amira. She'll be mad worried. Okay. For tomorrow? Uh, well, of course. I'm in. <laughs> All right then. Have a nice night. Yeah. Bye. Please, come in. Thank you. Are you okay? Um, just a bit stressed. I'm trying to figure out one or two things with work, but it's not flowing. Huh. Can yeah. I see it? Uh, no, come on. I invited you here to unwind, not to stress you with work. I insist. <sighs> we'll get your answer. <laughs> Over two, it's a hundred percent. Wow. Are you out of your mind? That girl is supposed to be your baby's best friend. And you think I don't know? Kyle, you don't understand. Being with her just makes me happy. But with a mirror, it feels like I'm on a hot seat, answering one question after another. But you loved her. I know says I still don't. Why are you making it sound like having a meal with her is equal to having sex with her? Come on. I mean, I see the spark in your eye whenever you talk about this girl. Which spark? It's like you're already in love with her. One minute you're in the house sharing a meal with her, and the next minute you're in bed breaking <laughs> bread with her. <laughs> you me breaking bread. <laughs> yeah, it's not that serious, trust me. I, I like her and... We're just exchanging vibes. So you say. <laughs> Why did you look me like that? <laughs> Collins? Collins! Collins? He's off working again. Damn. Why is everywhere so tacky? Like before. I 
even when I call him, he's always in a hurry. Like, I don't know. I just feel like something is amiss. Amira, why don't you just calm down and try to talk to him? Maybe something is bothering him. <sighs> exactly. The same thing I said before. I mean, what could possibly be bothering my man that he cannot call me to talk about it? This doesn't make any sense. Does it make any sense to you guys? <sighs> Vera, how far? It's been two weeks. Has he done anything yet? No, not at all. We're just friends, nothing else. Nothing else. What? You don't believe me? I didn't say that. All I'm saying is that my boyfriend has changed and I don't know why. But you're the one that said if he takes the bait and falls for Vera, you have nothing to lose. Has he made any move yet? Has he done anything to indicate? Amira, no. I said we're just friends and that's it. Nothing more. <sighs> Do you see what I'm talking about? Huh? <laughs> and this babe is not even my girl. I check him now. So tell me, are you excited because she helps you around the house? Or because you're catching feelings for her? Can you stop? Can't you see that there's a change in me these past few days? Guys, something in me has changed. I'm happier because of this girl. <laughs> so have you broken up with Amira? Because trust me, I don't understand what you're doing. I don't understand what you're trying to do. I don't know, but this girl makes me happy. She gives me peace of mind. She helps me with things around the house. She understands my job and she doesn't complain. Because she's not your girlfriend. I mean, girlfriends are annoying. That's what they are, annoying. Or maybe because she's a kind person. She doesn't attack me when I do something wrong in the friendship. She overlooks the little things and it makes me want to do more. That is what a relationship is supposed to be. Collins, you're swimming in dangerous waters. Let me swim in it, guy. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, I say, this baby nearly give me a headache. I don't know what to say, but if I'm being honest with you, I think I'm falling for her. Jesus Christ. And I think you need to cut off ASAP. I mean, you have a girlfriend that you proposed to already. Don't you see it? No. A girl that told me no. A girl that told me that she can't fully submit to a man even though all I have done is to love and support her. A girl that I stood by for two years trying to help her get through her trauma. A girl that is constantly telling me that she doesn't trust me. No. Collins. I really don't know what to say right now. And that's because you know that I'm saying the truth. And you know that I deserve better. Hey. Hi. Um. I was really hoping you'd come by. I was with Amira. And why don't I believe you though? <laughs> <laughs> I have something for you. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's small, but it's the thought that counts, right? Oh my God. Yeah. This... I cannot accept this. Vera, I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate your friendship and I don't want to ever lose it. This, this is really Please. beautiful, but... Please. Um, could you help me yeah. with your yes. hair? <laughs> yeah. Like this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just here we go. <sighs> there. 
that's it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, may I? Sure. <laughs> How do I look? Perfect. Um, you, you want to see? Mm-hmm. Okay. Shall we? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Just like you. Excuse me. I said... Where were you last night? Because I went to your house and you were not there. And I called you countless times. Then I even called Collins and none of you were taking my calls. And that warrants you to ask me my whereabouts because... Were you with Collins last night? Did you sleep over at my boyfriend's house? Because is that why none of you were taking my calls? Look, Amira, I do not have a problem with you, okay? I have told you countless times that Collins and I are just friends. If you have a problem with him, go ask him and leave me, leave me the hell alone. Please, please, guys. You both should calm down. Please. Really? Yes, really. What exactly do you want to hear? Hmm? That we've been sleeping together? Is that it? Listen and listen carefully. We are just friends. If he has changed towards you or if, you're, or if he's not matching your energy, then it's not my fault. Go to him and ask him and leave me the hell alone. Nonsense. This is the exact thing I've been trying to avoid since. Can come back, Vera. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. It's just that I've been so stressed, and Collins isn't helping matters at all. Fine. I want this to be called off. I want this game over, please. Wait, what? Just like that? Yes, I've gotten my answer. I'm going to marry him. Please, just stop, okay? Um. Uh, Amira, I mean, we agreed to do this for one month, right? So please, let's just allow me complete my job. Vera, it's fine. You can have the money. But this game, I need it over. Now, end it, please. Thank you. Um, fine. I I'll just get going. to stop this whole thing. We need to stop it right now. It's wrong. What are you talking about? What we shared last night meant nothing to you? I don't you? know. I don't know, okay? You are my best friend's boyfriend. I cannot continue to do this. And I in love the... you. Vera. I love you. Amira doesn't respect or value me. Look, what we shared last night is not a joke to me, okay? What? Sorry. 
So the both of you slept with each other last night while I was calling and calling. Vera! I asked you to end this game. I asked you to let him be. It's what you think. I told you to, to test him and you went ahead to test him. Wait, wait, wait. I, I heard game. What game are you talking about? Collins, I wanted to know if you loved me. So I asked her to test you to see if you'd fall for her. And you both slept with each other. Vera! Are you out of your mind? What? Is this true? You were playing a game with me? Collins, you slept with my best friend. I want you guys out of my house. Collins, I... Get out! I, of my get out! I think you're already done with Amira. Maybe you should just officially tell her. And go for who? Vera? The same one that was playing games with me. These women are afraid of us, but they're not to be trusted. They played me. I can't believe she did this to me. You need to eat. Vera called. She realized she hurt you. She betrayed you. And she apologized. So she kept her distance. Lizzie. Paves. You can't keep being this way in a game all players were wrong. You shouldn't have placed the bed in the first place. We warned you from the start. Lizzie, you know he hasn't even called me once. Not even. No. Oh my God. Don't we have our answers already? He said it himself that you didn't trust him, you doubted him. You weren't even helping him. If it wasn't Vera, it would have been someone else. Stop it, okay? Stop it, please. Peeps, you can't keep sitting here crying for someone who gently dropped you. And that was why he wasn't calling. He wasn't even excited to hear from you. He has moved on. So you need to move on. I tried. I I'm really trying. You keep trying. Learn from this and know that relationship is a two-way thing. So when next you love, you love for real. I tried. I really did. You keep trying, baby. You keep trying. But it hurts. I know. It hurts it. I know, right?
What do you want? Collins, I came to apologize for everything. For everything? You mean using yourself as a bait for me? Fooling me? Causing me to fall in love with you when it was just a game? Everything was a lie. No. No, Collins. My feelings for you weren't. If it were, I wouldn't have allowed that night to happen. That's a lie. It's okay if you don't believe me. But you can just go back to your girlfriend and just do anything you want. It's you I love. I love you. That's why this shit hurts. I love you and you plead me. Collins, this cannot happen between us. I love you, but you're my best friend's man. Oh, are, are, are you kidding? You think you can go back to being friends with her after this? I don't love her. It's either you or you give me space to heal and find someone else. Collins. I loved your friend. I cared for her. I supported her, but she never reciprocated any of my feelings. It was always from one complaint to another. But you, you came into my life and things changed. And I know that's because you're a kind person, not because of some stupid game. Please stop. Stop it. Look, it's been a horrible couple of days. I can't focus. I can't think. I... And that's because I love you. That's because I care about you. That's because you're constantly on my mind. And that's because I'm used to having you around here. Farah. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you, Collins. So much. I know you do. And I miss you. I miss you too. you're back. I'm glad I'm back too, but I'm worried. It's nothing to be worried about, okay? Everything is going to be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. I might just uh, 